Hey Quinn, did you know that there was a vote in 2013 for the world's ugliest animal? And do you know who won? Can you give me a hint? Well, it was between a furry blue hairball monkey named Gus and a fish called the Blobfish. Wait, me and a Blobfish? Um, believe it or not, there is something called the Ugly Animal Preservation Society. Oh yeah, I remember now. Didn't they need a new mascot? <laughs> so what? Did they just decide to put it to a public vote or something between me and a Blobfish? Actually, that's exactly what they did, and it attracted a lot of attention, which is what they wanted to have happen. And because of it, people now know that the ugliest animal in the world is also an endangered species. Wait, so who won? Who's the ugliest or voted the ugliest? Was it me or the blobfish? It was the blobfish. So let's learn more about it. Hello, I'm Bob the Blobfish. I'm a very unique and unusual looking fish that lives on the bottom of the ocean. I have very little muscle as you can see, so there's no weight lifting for me. And I also have a soft skeletal structure that helps me live under the pressure of the deep ocean water. In fact, some people love calling me David Blobfish Bowie. <laughs> Why, Bob? Because he loves being under pressure. Looking down. No, 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 okay. The blobfish's body is made up of a slimy mass that can withstand the extraordinarily high pressure at the bottom of the ocean. Does it make sense now? Under pressure. Okay. It does. Okay, good. I don't feel so foolish anymore. <laughs> In fact, I couldn't survive at the surface. I actually look like a normal fish when I'm underwater, but my body droops like an old water balloon if I'm not under enough pressure. The blobfish was discovered in the year 2003 by marine ecologist Karen Parkinson while she was on an ocean voyage off the coast of New Zealand. And uh, that's because uh, we live in the waters off Australia and New Zealand. Although, I got a little bit of a different accent. Blobfish are known as bottom dwellers. They swim or hover just above the sea floor. We may hover, but we live as deep as 2,700 feet below the ocean surface. And we also don't have scales like most fish. Instead, we have loose, flabby skin, if you couldn't tell already. Blobfish are pinkish gray in color and are about a foot long and weigh about 20 pounds. And because we have literally no muscles, we can't really chase prey. So instead, we wait patiently for small crustaceans like crabs, sea urchins, or even shellfish and suck them right into our mouth. <laughs> Besides eating, saving energy is the blobfish's main job. A female blobfish lays thousands of small pink eggs on the sea floor, and the female or male sits on the eggs to guard them against predators. The flap of skin that hangs over the lips of the blobfish, which appears to be shaped like a human nose, is actually not a nose at all. It's actually just skin. If a blobfish is left out of the water for too long, their skin will dry out and they will die. That's why they need to be under pressure. <laughs> yep. And even if blobfish doesn't have any natural enemies, it is one of those threatened species that gets caught up in the nets of deep sea fishermen. So since we live so deep in the ocean and are rarely seen by humans like you, not much is known about us. So make sure that you share this video and the information you learned with your friends so you can tell them how much you now know about me, the ugliest animal in the world. <laughs> well, first and foremost, I want to thank Bob for helping us out with this video. He was very helpful. And hey, 
guess what? Now you, them, and all of us know all about the Blobfish. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe. Bye. Bye.